Good girl. So, if we wanted to go into that crate, mm. we ideally want it to be on command. We say crate and she runs into the crate. Right. But if she knows that when I put her into the crate, she gets locked up and she doesn't want to go in there, we may have what you said before, a, bit of, a couple of silly games. Mm. Now, it's pretty easy to show her food and chocolate in there, she goes in there. And, and like we can do that. Good girl. So if I just chuck food in there, she's going to walk in. But one thing, the tip for today will be I want her to want to go in there more than I want her to go in there. So what I mean by that is I'm going to show her the food, I'm going to chuck it in there. So she doesn't know that I've chucked it in there. Now she does. So now she wants it more. As soon as she starts banging on it or trying really hard to get in there, usually with their paw, is when I'm going to open it up. So now instead of me coaxing her in there, it's on her. Good girl. Not that I want to necessarily want her to bang on it, no. but I want her to want to be in there more than. Yeah, yeah. And with a bit of frustration, we can achieve that. Okay. Good girl. So then, we also want this to be on command. Do you have a command for her to go in there? Not yet. I Not yet. Say, I said into bed. Into so. bed. Into yeah. bed. Okay. Cool. And we're going to teach a bed command as well. Have we been teaching um, bed? Or did we go through that last time? Yeah. We, we did. did that, right? And we call that bed too, didn't we? Mm -hmm. What I like is that we have bed to go on their place, like a bed or a towel or a floor mat. And I usually say, for my dog, I say crate to go into his crate. Oh, okay. It doesn't have to be those exact words. We can yeah. change the words, but separate it. So yeah. Okay. yeah, so one means definitely going into the crate. Yeah. Another time it's going to a bed. Yeah. Um, well, she so, doesn't like, so that, that's just a crate for that. We can just start, we can change it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah she's not. She's not going to So, <laughs> so the, the process of getting her into here is that I'm going to say the word first and throw the food in. Crate, and then chuck it. This is this is going back to the beginning. Crate. I could lure her in here, mm. but I prefer that I get her to walk in there herself. Mm. So over time, it would just be pointing in there. Yes, if I can mark her going in there, so you can see how now I want her to be keen when I come close to the crate. Oh. Yeah. To go yeah. in rather than going, let's play first. Yeah. Because um, that could I can be dodge this. Yeah. exactly. Crate. And then now I'm going to up the criteria because we know that she's comfortable going into the crate. So here I'm going to say, crate. Kind of half lure her. But here I'm going to wait for her to make the decision. Yes. So I don't want to have to put my hand all the way into the corner for her back legs to get there. I'm just going to, yes, keep the half gesture. Okay. With my lure. So then eventually it becomes crate. And then she should go onto it. Okay. I haven't done enough repetitions for yeah. that. Crate. Good girl. Crate. Yes. And you can see there that my lure didn't come from in there, but it came from on the top. Yeah, and then over time we'll become this and then that, and then we'll just have the word. Okay. What's important though is that we say the word first. Crate. Then go to lure her in. Yes. So then, okay, that's putting it on command. Now, I see that she wants to go into here. Great. Yes, good girl. So just a quick little tip there in terms of instead of trying to push her into there and manhandle mm -hmm. her in there and become lure. tougher and tougher over time, yes. is the lure mixed with, hey, there's food in there, but you have to, mm. I want her to try to want to be in there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, boom, 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 yeah. boom. yes. Yeah. Good girl. And then also trying to practicing the crate when we don't want her to necessarily yeah. be in there as well. Okay. Good girl. Very nice. And four and a half months old, this becomes a, um, a cool habit rather than you're chasing her around because and again doing this at that time of the night is yeah. more important as well because she knows now it's a fun game but at night time she's going to be in there for eight hours and that's mm -hmm. when she's going to try to protest yeah good girl she's pretty happy being in there and like all the